Here's how to do 10 viral text effects in CapCut. This first one is being used all over socials to create a really cool captions style text effect. On your CapCut timeline, go to text, go auto captions, and let's generate some auto captions. Make sure apply to all is selected and choose a font that you like. For the sake of this example, I'm using inter semi bold and I've decreased my character to minus one, which just brings our letters closer together. Then go to animation, select captions and find one called single line. We can then reposition our captions and you'll see when I play my timeline, I get this really cool change of color effect on my captions. The color and texture of the captions change according to the background that you have behind them. Here are some more captions effects that get the same result. Negative grow, multi-line, and multi-line three. All of these slightly change up the way the animation looks, so select the one you like best. Personally, I love single line. Professionals are using a ton of this Apple style text animation in their recent videos. Here's how you can do it. Select text, add text, and add a default text layer. We're then gonna change our font to exactly what we like. Inspired by Apple, I'm gonna use Arial Bold and decrease my character to minus one and then change your color. I'm gonna do this off gray. Select it on the first frame of my text layer. I'm gonna scroll down and add a transform and a blend keyframe. Then hold on shift, select the right arrow once, select the right arrow one more time, release shift and select forward another two frames. If we zoom into our timeline, we'll see that the time difference between our first keyframe and the second one is 22 frames marked by this 22 F. Go ahead and create another keyframe on transform and under blend. Then using this arrow key, let's jump back to the last keyframe and reduce our opacity to zero and drag this title down to minus 160. Let's add that Apple professional feel. Go ahead and right click on your clip and say show variable speed animation. Then toggle up scale and let's go to Y. Select on this diagonal line, zoom out slightly until you see the curve icon and let's select cubic ease. Now one of the last things we need to do here is drag this bottom line slightly closer to the first, making sure that you keep it horizontal, select on your second keyframe and drag this line slightly left. Now when we play our text layer, we get this insanely smooth slide up. Then I'm gonna add a shadow, decrease my opacity to seven, right click on my text layer and say create compound clip you've generated the template that we'll use for all of our other text. Holding down option, I'm gonna go ahead and drag above my text layer, and this is just gonna create copies of our initial text layer. Then select it on the compound clip. You'll see if we select text, you can change the actual text within that compound clip. With all of those compound clips having different text, it's now time to change the actual position of our text. And all I've done is select it on that text layer and reposition that text file. Now, when I play my timeline, you'll see that we get this insanely smooth text effect. Just changing the position and sizing of my words, there are essentially infinite number of animation combinations that you can do. When you're ready for your next line, go ahead and duplicate those lines again, and then you can simply change the words within those compound clips. This Apple inspired text effect also works incredibly well as captions like you're seeing right now. On the topic of incredible text and effects, as creators, sometimes we need to create presentations for our ideas, our channel stats, or to grow our businesses. I've had to do this numerous times for sponsors. I've been sponsored by the coolest AI presentation builder in the world. Within two minutes, I built an entire presentation that I could share to potential sponsors with my YouTube channel key metrics. Once you've generated your template, you can change every single element from colors to text to AI generated pictures, layout, and more. You can add your brand guide and it'll use your colors, fonts, and styling to inform all the presentations it creates. When you present, it automatically adds animations between the different elements for an insanely beautiful feel. Remember what we spoke about in terms of Apple animations. You can also generate web pages, documents, and even social media posts in seconds. I asked it to summarize five of the text effects that we discussed in this video, and here's what it made in 30 seconds. Visit Gamma 3.0 at gamma.app to try it for completely free. Creators, this really is the future of presentations and visual storytelling. This next one is inspired by Camp Studios, and before this, I had never seen this effect done before. Here's how you do it in CapCut. With the word that you wanna do this effect to on your timeline, go ahead and select that, swipe down, and deselect uniform scale. Then at the beginning of that layer, you're gonna create a height keyframe. 
slide your timeline head a little further on the timeline and create another height keyframe to which you can then drag that slider up and you'll see it has this great looking effect on our word. Now when we play between those two keyframes we have this vertical enlarge effect. You can achieve the same effect but horizontally by selecting keyframe on your width, sliding forward on your timeline and adding another keyframe. Then on our second keyframe we're going to drag our text wider. This is a great effect to drive attention to certain words that you say. Now this next one does the same thing in a different way and it's been going viral all over my reels. It's called the flicker effect. With your text layer on your timeline, swipe down until you find blend, then create six keyframes. When I zoom into my timeline, you can see we have six keyframes separated by one frame apart. My first and last keyframes are going to have our opacity set to 100. Then on my second keyframe, drag your opacity down to 25. Your third keyframe should have opacity set to 50. Your fourth keyframe should have opacity set to 25. And your fifth keyframe should have opacity set to 67. Now when we play our layer, you'll see we have this cool flicker effect. If you find that that flicker animation is too fast, space out your keyframes and this gives us a much slower flicker effect. To level this effect up, go ahead and search ticking inside of your sound effects library, drag the second one onto your timeline, move a few seconds in and cut this clip, select command R and speed this up so that it ends when your flickering ends. Now when we play our timeline, you've added a cool flicker sound effect to your text effect. For every YouTube video, I spend hours sourcing assets and I try and source free assets so that you can use them too. If you'd like a document with the free assets I used in this video, go ahead and click that link in the description and I'll email you the document. This next text effect is the numbers counting effect and it's easier than ever to do. Go into your web browser, go to ChatGPT and insert this exact prompt. You can even ask chat to generate dollar signs or other currency signs for your numbers. Once chat's done its thing, go ahead and say download numbers SRT. Once you've downloaded that SRT, you can simply drag it and drop it into your CapCut timeline. Make sure apply to all is selected. We can change the font and the size and place it wherever you want. You've now changed the values for all of those numbers. To speed it up, stay selected on all your numbers, create a compound clip. Then we can go to speed, go to curve and create our custom curve. Using a curve that looks like this, when we click start, we have our numbers ticking slowly, they speed up and rapidly incline, and then we have them slow down as we reach our final number. Now, if we go into our compound clip, you can see we end at $99. So to make sure this stays, we can simply drag that $99 a little bit longer, go back to our compound clip, and now we can extend, and you can see we have this portion where we stay on $99. If you make an SRT, let's say to 2000, and there are tons of numbers, all you have to do to speed this up further is compound this compound clip, and then go ahead and speed it up even more. You'll see now when I play my timeline, our numbers rapidly increase a lot faster, and then slow down as we reach 99. You can create this stunning perspective text effect that you can use to angle your words to fit them into each other better, or to fit them in to different environments. With your text layer selected, we're gonna create a compound clip Select on your compound clip, go to animation, combo, and find flip six. Flip six gives us multiple points of angles and perspective that we can use. Because I want three words to show up, I'm gonna create three layers. Then I'm gonna disable my top two layers by selecting V so I can just see my bottom layer. Find the exact frame that you like. Once I find that frame, I'm gonna create another compound clip on top of that compound clip and then select freeze. This is gonna lock in that perspective. We can follow the same step for the next two layers, simply changing our word. For my second word, I want it to be no, and I'm gonna drag it down so that it fits diagonally within our first word. Once again, I'm gonna compound that clip, hover over here and create a freeze frame. Before our freeze frame, you can see we still have that compound clip. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and drag our freeze frame into position. For my third word, I'm gonna find the frame I like, and I like this one right here because it fits in diagonally, and we can go ahead and compound that and select freeze frame. Now what you can do is go ahead and delete those compound clips from all your other layers, leaving just one compound clip that you're gonna drag over to the side. We'll use this to create future text layers. Then with all my freeze frames, I can go ahead and stagger them to create this cool effect. By highlighting all of them, I can also reposition and enlarge them together. 
I use this exact same method to create the thumbnail for this video, showing you that you can use it in your designs too. In this scene, I've applied the exact same effect. I've angled our words and then I've placed them between these ropes. I then went onto my freeze frame and I changed the blend mode to overlay, creating this effect where it blends into our background. When we compare it to just some standard text on top of our video, you can see how much more professional and stylized this angled perspective text looks. Here's how to do the text behind object effect. With your video on your timeline, go ahead and create a duplicate copy. Then on your top layer, go to remove background, custom removal, and there's a couple of tricks that I've found that gets this effect to work best. Select on your smart brush, go ahead and make singular straight lines over the object that you want to remove. When you're happy, go ahead and click apply, add five points of feathering and five points of expansion. We then can go to our text layer, add our text layer and place the text layer in between those two video layers. Find the font that you want to use and go ahead and change your text. We've now placed our text behind our object. A secret tip is to change your text on a beat of a music track just like this. And while we're on the scene, the next text effect is called a font shift. I've been seeing this all over my social media and it's so easy to do in CapCut. At the point that you want your font to start shifting, go ahead and create a cut point on that layer. Then select it on the text layer, go to animation, go to loop, and CapCut's got a bunch of these font change effects. So let me go ahead and select this one. If you wanna keep changing between different fonts, go ahead and make another blade, go to animation loop and find another font change effect. Then finally, when you're ready to return to your original font, make that final blade, go to animation and deselect loop. Another tip is to add some ticking sound design while those fonts change. This outline reveal effect was made by Jihad and he got over 51,000 likes on his reel. Here's how you can do it. Add a video layer on your first layer and a text layer on your second layer. Then change the font, sizing and color of that text layer. What we're then gonna do is duplicate our video layer, go to remove background, go custom removal and drag a straight line over our person. Once that's finished processing, go ahead and click apply. Once again, let's add five points of feathering and five points of expansion. We're then gonna drag our text layer a little bit longer, create another text layer, change this to outline and place it above. I'm also gonna reduce the size slightly like our reference had. Once that's done, I can go ahead and select both those text layers, select on option and place them above our video layer. Let's start with reveal. I'm gonna swipe down and add stroke, select color and then paste that exact color that we used for our text. We can then drop the thickness to eight. If you wanna find the value of that color, go ahead and click that arrow icon and you'll see next to hex, you can just go ahead and copy that. We can then do the same thing for our second layer. We're then gonna to go to the color of our text and change this to green for both of our layers. We can then compound those layers, select on one layer, go video, remove background and select the chroma key option. I can then select over that green and it'll remove the full of that green from our layer. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for our second layer. When I play our timeline, you can see that we've created that outline reveal effect. This is a super eye-catching text effect that you can use on Instagram, in your Reels, on your TikToks, or even in your YouTube videos. This next effect was inspired by Desha, and she got over 20,000 likes on her Reel with tons of people asking her how she did this. Let me show you how to do the video in text effect. When your background's on your timeline, we're then gonna bring the video that we want to play inside of our text onto our timeline. Select it on that video, I can go to video mask, add mask and create a text mask where I can then change this text to whatever I like. I'm gonna decrease the character by two and select a font of my choice. When I play my timeline, our video is playing within our text, an insanely beautiful effect. But there's another way to do this to open up a few more animations for text. With our text on our timeline, I'm gonna to go to library, stay selected on trending and find the plain black background. I can then drop that below my text. Select your text and your black background, compound those clips together, go back to your import folder and let's drag the video that we wanna play inside of our text. Select it on that video. I can go ahead and change the blend mode to linear burn. We now have that video playing inside of our text. 
Let's go ahead and highlight all those layers together and compound them and then change the blend mode to screen. You can now see that our video is playing inside of our text. And there's a reason that we would do this method. Let me show you why. Double clicking on my compound layers, I can go and find that original text layer. I can then go to animation and I get access to all the text animations. For instance, I can select the random rise in animation, change my duration, and when I go back to our timeline, you'll see that our animation now applies to our main timeline. If we follow the first method that I showed you, it's slightly easier, but you don't get access to those text animations.